Hi guys, welcome back to take two of uh, this unboxing video. Um, I've just basically unboxed about 50 or 60 models that I purchased from eBay, uh, only to find out that halfway through it cut off and uh, there was no sound. So I'm not about to box it all back up again um, so I hope that you forgive me um, but here's just a few select bits that, um, that I really like plus actually a couple of extra bits that have come in today um, so anyway let's start over here so we've got this uh, racing transporter and this is the racing car transporter matchbox king size number K5. So, lovely little thing. So that goes up like that. You can put two race cars in the back of there, bring it down. Um, unfortunately, the glass is broken, and of course, it'll need new decals, but that will look well. I don't know, I think something like that restored would be quite exciting. Like I say, there's lots of others that I'm not going to um, kind of go through the unboxing. I've already done it once. Um, uh, I'll just not say these are kind of like my favourites, I guess. Um, this one's really cool. I'm going to need all new tyres. They're all falling off. I must have probably about 30 tyres just hanging around now. Um, but yeah, this is quite a nice little piece. And oh, there's even another tire in there. Um, now, I don't know how it works, but basically, this bottom opens, which I think is very cool. And who knows, I guess this kind of continues on for as many as you want. But this is fixed. This one, lovely little cab to it. Um, Matchbox King Size K4. Frauhof, Frauf Hopper. Um, sounds very German to me. Um, and uh, I apologise for my German pronunciation. Although this is a GMC, so uh, there you are. But yeah, Frauf. Um, any Germans watching, please comment on my pronunciation. This one I really like. This is a Guy Warrior car, tra uh, car transporter, king size K8. Um, again, with a fixed cab. Um, that's a. Oh, okay. So it's a Guy Warrior. So that's the brand of the truck, is it? I've never heard of that before. But it says on here Farnborough Misham Car Auction Collection. I wonder whether that is a true um, car auction collection in Farnborough Meesham which is down in the south of England um, but that'd be very cool so that opens up there now oh, that's it so that drops down pull it up and then locks into place and you could you get it's a bit crusty um, car so fits all the standard cars this I'm really looking forward to uh, restoring and hopefully if you've been around for long enough you would have seen my um, other car transporter that I did probably about six weeks ago now that I've done in kind of like a, a blue color that is one of my favorite castings so this one will be done soon This is another one that I really like. So you got. I don't know how to open it up. I don't know what the correct way. Oh, there you go. So this I'm assuming should have horses in the back. Um, funky colour, Ascot stables, and it's a shame the windscreen is broke. Obviously, this glass would need to be replaced. 
decals replaced, but tyres replaced. But that I think is literally all the tyres are just falling off of these things. Look, so they're all kind of dry rotted and yeah, falling yeah, just <laughs> falling off. But never mind. Um, we can replace those from eBay. Um, I think I'm sure I've seen someone restore one of these. Maybe it was George. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to uh, have a little search on YouTube. But anyway, oh, it's a Dodge. It's a Dodge tractor. So yeah, very cool. This was a nice piece. Um, you may have seen uh, this one being. Um, I say restored, customised, uh, ruined, depending on who you are in the comments. Um, this is obviously in the same vein as that one, and uh, that would be quite nice, you know, getting this painted up. And uh, you know, perhaps he wants to try to take this dragster with him today, park that one up, take this one with him next time. So. Yeah, maybe uh, that's the black one. Maybe I'll paint this one in white, and then uh, yeah, do the old station wagon up with all the bits on there. Uh, very, very cool. I like that. Kind of get like a bit of a free one really for that video. Um, okay, people have mentioned to me on occasions to get some decent uh, fine detail brushes. Now, I don't know whether these are decent, but they are fine detail brushes. So I'm, I'm hoping that these will be better um, for when I do those, you know, whether it's a grill, uh, whether it's a rear lights, front lights, etc. Um, yeah, it didn't cost a lot of money. Um, can't remember how much, maybe about five pounds delivered. So yeah, I look forward to using those. And then last, but not least, we have a gift or a, a delivery to Matchbox Garage. And let me just, uh, yeah, so uh, sender is Orc 1976 from Cumbria, uh, which is a beautiful place um, in the UK. Um, and this uh, Orc 1976 is his uh, YouTuber name and um, Funnily enough, uh, video I literally just put up tonight, which was the, what was it? This little fella, uh, which <laughs> little ugly duckling that um, I really quite have fallen in love with. Um, but um, yeah, in the comments section of, of this video, um, he mentioned, oh, have you received my package? And I had all of 10 minutes before as I walked in uh, to my home after work at about 10 to 6 video went live at 6 and then I was like oh I've got this package who's this from 10 minutes later comment have you got my package yay so uh, I mentioned uh, to him actually that I'll be opening it up tonight so here I am I don't know when this video will go live but um, this is Friday night for me um, but yeah remember if you um, if I get 2,000 likes on this video this will be uh, given away to one of my subscribers who comment down in the comment section um, we'll see how it goes I might have to reduce the number of likes see how many we get I think it's only been up for a few hours and it's got about 400 likes already so you never know it might be coming to one of you lucky people So I'm going to try and uh, not cut my finger off. So a lovely tin note on bottom and beautiful handwriting. Here we go. Uh, Hi Rob, as promised on Friday. So it must have been last Friday. Um, I have been putting uh, bits aside my two-year-old and I enjoy your channel and I hope you can use, restore or Mad Max these examples. God bless Dan, Orc1976. Well, 
Um, first of all, Dan, you have beautiful handwriting, and uh, thank you very much for whatever is inside this tin. And I'm glad that you watch it with your two year old, um, my own children watch my videos I don't force them honestly they do enjoy them which is which is nice it's nice to do videos that not only for me that I enjoy but also my friends and families can enjoy as well as obviously you guys wherever you are in the world right so we've got some nice bits in here ah, cool. so this is the motorcycle trailer uh, one of the Honda ones and I don't have any of these so this is a first for me and as I look around um, is this the right bike to go with it Honda 750 no it's a different one but anyway that's another bike I've got so that is very nice now what's this? That's different. Oh, this is like a Corgi Juniors, a Marcos, which I believe is an English brand of car. Oh, it looks like this has got... I'm wondering whether it's like, you know, like the kind of the matchbox like piston popper. Is that... maybe it should have done. Hmm. I have to probably take that apart, figure out what is going on with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty funky looking. Very well packed. I shall be removing this uh, note and put it with uh, the rest of what I have. Uh, every note I I cherish. And this tin will be a nice kind of secondary uh, usage for maybe some bits and pieces. Um, I'll figure out what they may be. Ah, oh, cool. So the ah oh, Matchbox Speed Shop. All right, and it's got the, uh, the larger back wheels on the front here. So Model A, which I have to be honest, quite a few of these, um, all in the kind of giveaway Kellogg's one. But what I don't have is a Matchbox Speed Shop one, especially with these rear wheels, which I think look really cool. So. That gives me an idea to maybe make you know like my own uh, matchbox garage or something like that very cool London taxi oh this is a matchbox so taxi FX 4R made in China oh look got the uh, obviously the what they call that suicide doors so this would have been an airport taxi perhaps nice little detail I quite quite like the uh, almost like the low rider look of it I've seen one of these um, in like a dragster down at the uh, um, at the drag strip um, we've got a drag strip not too far where I live uh, called Santa Pod Raceway I used to go there quite a quite a, a lot and I've raced up there myself in various different cars um, but uh, yeah it's, um, it's you know, drag racing is not like it Harry is in America it's massive in America or at least how I see it um, in the UK it's not so much um, but we do have uh, Santa Pod like I say it's probably about uh, maybe about a two hour drive away from me and um, yeah I think my children are probably at the age now where they would enjoy something like that and anyway some some fond memories of seeing um, a taxi converted you know great big wheels on the back and uh, yeah running up that drag strip so be nice to maybe try and replicate that kind of relive uh, my youth uh, beautiful old Volvo uh, Volvo 760 um, and for anyone that's been around for a couple of months I custom restored one of these what color did I paint it it was the same color or a similar color and then I put um, where is it um, like these kind of style wheels on it and it's done pretty well actually I think that video has got about 30,000 views and uh, yeah this one's in really good condition 
and uh, you know maybe kind of like a, a custom 2.0 coming up in the future on that one. This is a Hot Wheels 52 Chevy. That's a handsome looking ride. I don't know what that black stuff is on the sides of there. Looks like it's been covered with something. Um, but yeah, beautiful looking car. In fact, one of my neighbors um, has got a kind of truck similar to this. And uh, <laughs> Um, you know, I'm perhaps oversharing, but as I go to the little boy's room and have a little tinkle, um, my view out of my rear window is a beautiful uh, kind of little truck like this. So um, I almost uh, feel privileged uh, whilst going for a pee, but there we are. Like I say, oversharing, but you know, we're all friends here. So this is one of the uh, Peugeot Quasars and I've got a couple of these um, and I never really knew whether I was missing the back but from what I now understand that this is how it's come you know there there is no back it's like an open engine um, so it'll be quite interesting I think to restore one of these I say restore I wouldn't you know I'm not gonna put Quasar stuck on the side of it again um, I'd want to customize it some kind of funky color uh, what kind of color do you think would suit something like this you know it's a funky looking car it needs a funky looking color right this is a T-Bird I think that's what that is full on the bird yeah T-Bird turbo coupe Windscreen's a bit scuffed up, but usable. Oh, that's a shame. It's lost a little bit of plastic around the back. But I've got a couple of these, I think. So between the lot of them, you know, I should be able to put uh, one car together. And I'm not sure uh, whether I'm right here, but I'm going to guess that in America, this is considered a bit of a lame duck. This is um, this is not like a cool car for me in the UK because I don't see these cars. This is cool, and I would love to own one of these. Um, I'd be quite happy driving this around every day. Um, I've never owned an American car, and I will do one day sooner rather than later. Let's hope. First thing I'll do is take it up centre pod. My big V8. Oh well, so we've got a lovely old Rolls Royce. So number 39, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow from 1979. So this is 40 years old. Looks like we've got a crack in the windscreen at the back there, which is a shame. But I think I've got, if I, I have uh, custom restored one of these, I painted it white. Um, it looks all right actually in camera I must admit not the greatest in person I felt anyway um, so I would like to kind of revisit this um, try and find a different set of wheels that better suit it but yeah this one's been uh, well played with and very much enjoyable uh, but anyway um, that is it for today guys obviously another thanks to Orc 1976 uh, for sending me these cars um, I need to find a little one of those little Honda uh, motorcycles for this um, and so I can uh, put that together but uh, anyway thanks very much guys I'll see you on the next one